Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Back again, our Galaxy Note 2. Uh, this is the AT&T version, SGH i317. We're going to take a look at a new KitKat ROM. Alright, so the name of this ROM is the Gummy ROM. And like I said, this is KitKat. Um, we're going to go ahead and fire it up while we do that big thanks to Hedwig 32 excuse me 34 uh, is the gentleman that uh, has brought this to our device shoot over to XDA and uh, check out the thread I'll put a link down below where you can find this and um, give him a big thanks and possibly a donation he'd probably really appreciate that he did a lot of great work on this so while this is firing up, we're going to talk about it. As I said, uh, it's KitKat. It's based on uh, latest AOSP, and he said he's tried to stay true to the AOSP while bringing you a lot of uh, customization options, including a status bar mod, a hardware key mod, performance control. You can alter the lock and uh, the lock screen. In fact, you see here I've thrown on a star. Just um, I think that that's actually part of the gummy Sorry, I hit it three times. Part of the gummy um, features you can do, but you can also add a custom icon. And of course you can um, customize the quick settings. Uh, there's a theme manager as well, but we'll get into that here in a second. Let's go ahead and unlock. Now I've, a lot of these are mine. Um, I've been playing around with this KitKat launcher and I gotta say I really like it. I've been using this ROM for about a week now, um, maybe over a week, and just had a great time using it. Battery life has been wonderful. Haven't had any problems. Uh, I could get normal, it's, it's, it's pretty much on par with the Note 2. I could get a uh, full day easily of just moderate use. Heavy use, I would maybe run down at the end of the day and have to plug it in but um, you know like as I was going to bed it would give me the low battery warning so battery life has been great <clears throat> excuse me call quality has been great GPS has worked fine haven't had any issues with this as I said you can change the background of your uh, your, your notification shade here I would like to see where I could change the color of the tiles. That would be nice uh, in a future build. I did see right before filming this that a new version is out. I haven't put it on here yet though. So like I said, I've been using this for a week now. So I've got it set up the way I prefer it and I've got all my stuff on it. Really been getting used to this KitKat launcher and how you can just swipe to the left here to go right into Google Now. I really like that. And then the voice features of, of the new Google Now have been great. Okay, Google. What time is it? The time is 9.46 a.m. Oh, thank you. And then you don't even really need to swipe over. You can just give it from any screen. Okay, Google. So, works really, really well. The only issue I've found is that the camera doesn't work sometimes. Uh, it'll work after a fresh reboot. It'll work for the first couple of times, and then when you launch it, uh, you might get an error message. We just rebooted, so it's going to work for the most part, but uh, after a while, I'll get an error message and uh, the camera will fail. But as I said, there's a new version out and uh, that's probably been taken care of in the new version. We do have our customization, some customization options and the theme manager as well. It's not quite as fully customizable as AOKP or CyanogenMod, but you do have a lot of stuff you can play around with, which is nice. And you see, we do have the most recent version of Android 4.4.2. So, as I said, guys, everything working really well, except for that little camera issue. Uh, be sure to check out the thread for uh, any updates to the uh, working, non-working list. And as I said, I've been very, very pleased with this. Been using it for over a week now, and 
just been a great daily driver. So there you go guys, real quick overview of the gummy ROM, KitKat ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Put a link down below where you can find it and as always if you have any questions uh, shoot me a comment or swing over to our site mobiletechvideos.com and uh, let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.